Okay, so this video is on using Bitwarden in the web browser and also the desktop app. My name is Frank, and uh, yeah, I'm with Oth Oscillate Support Services, so hope you find this helpful. This is not a setup video, but a basic usage video. This assumes that you've already set it up to use. I uh, may end up doing a basic setup video at some point, but right now, this is what needs to happen. So. Okay, so we have over here, we have open Firefox web browser. It, this would work basically with Chrome also, but we have a Bitwarden uh, little plugin in, installed in the web browser here. So here I am on my Facebook page, and um, for me to log into Facebook, I need to click on the Bitwarden icon there. And since I've signed on before with my username, um, it's going to just ask for my master password, but if I log out, it's going to log me out and I have to type in my username and my password. Um, which actually you could see my username down here it says logged in as. There's my email address. So it's already has me logged in, but it's just locked. So in order to unlock it, the way that I have it set up, I need to enter my master password every single time. However, if you have set up a PIN, a PIN number, or some kind of alphanumeric PIN, letters and numbers, you would put that in here instead of your master password to unlock it. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my master password. Hope I typed that correctly. Looks like I did. And so since we're on the Facebook page here, it's going to pop up with the Facebook um, login. So all I have to do is click on there, and it fills it in for me on my web browser. And then when I click log in, it'll log me into Facebook. Now I'm not going to go ahead and do that because I don't want all of my Facebook information shown on this video. But um, um, that's how it would work. And so. If you want to find something other than Facebook, um, this is going to stay unlocked for a while, depending on your settings. If you go into settings, you'd see your different unlock set or lock us settings. Um, I recommend going in there, click on the settings down the bottom right corner of this little window here, and you go to security here, the security section, and I would change the vault timeout to five minutes or one minute. I wouldn't keep it much longer than five minutes. Um, so in other words, if you don't use Bitwarden here, the plugin, after five minutes with this setting, it will lock in this case. You could also set it to log out completely. But if you set it to log out, it will require you to type your username and your password instead of just your uh, password. But then also you have the option here for unlock with PIN. So um, if you want to do that, um, you're going to have to type in a PIN number here. And you could choose any PIN number you want. Um, doesn't matter how many digits or what it is. Just um, I'd recommend it being something somebody cannot guess easily. So just for the sake of example here, I'm going to do 1111 and click Submit. And then I will go back to Tab over here. And I actually do want to lock this. So if we click here, my vault, uh, it takes you back to your vault. Um, trying to look for a way to quickly lock my vault here. Scroll down. Um, I don't want to lock log out. I want to lock now, so I'll click there. And now it's locked, and it says PIN instead of password. So if I type my PIN in there and hit Enter, it unlocks it. Now if you want to find something other than but it will show you based on the page that you're on. You have to go to My Vault, okay? And then you should have, you might have categorized things like I do here, you might not. Um, and then you could also do a quick search. So let's say you wanna find Google, you type in Google and it'll pop up everything that has uh, Google passwords or Google logins for you. Or, um, you know, like say you were not on the Facebook page, you type in Facebook there, and it'll give you everything that's Facebook. So let's say you wanted to log into Google instead. You would have to um, you would have to go in here and type in Google.com. And but I'm already logged in, as you can see up here. I would have to log out. But actually, if I click up on Bitwarden, it shows me all my Google logins. So it's already detecting that I'm on Google.com.
Or let's say I want to log out of Google and then I want to log back in. I have to click sign in and it remembers me, but it doesn't remember my password because I didn't want it to. So I have to come back up to Bitwarden, which is still unlocked, and then I choose which login I want to use and I click on that and it knows its password so it types it in and I click next and it logs me in. That's a quick rundown of Bitwarden in the web browser. Now it works very similarly um, when you're actually running the Bitwarden app and the way to do that is if you have the Bitwarden app installed you have to open that up just like you would any other program probably a shortcut on your desktop and then once that runs let me bring that over so we could see it in the uh, window here so it's the same kind of thing i already have signed in before so it says i'm signed in with my username so i have to type in my master password here if you don't want to have to do that all the time you can set up a pin number i believe like you can in the uh, web browser Let's see looking for the settings that would allow me to do that there we are settings right there it's under file you just click unlock with pin and you do have to set this separately from the pin number in the browser so but once you do if you lock it you can go to lock now uh, you see it asks for a pin number instead so you type in your pin number and boom there's all your logins so um, that's a quick rundown on using Bitwarden. I hope that was helpful. You can watch this back as many times as you like. Let me know if you have any questions or suggestions. Um, talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.